common milkweed, Asclepias syriaca, and hemp dogbane, Applocynum cannabinum, are two closely related common plants that are often confused with each other. And while they do look similar at a glance, there are several ways to tell them apart. First, let me explain why the identity of these two plants is so often confused. Young common milkweed and hemp dogbane have similar leaves, they both grow in similar conditions, and can form large colonies as they both spread by rhizomes, and they both have thick, milky sap. Some of you may be thinking, wait, I thought only milkweeds have milky sap. Well, milkweeds do have thick, milky sap. At least most of them. There are exceptions. But so do a whole bunch of other plants, related and not related to the milkweeds. Isn't botany fun? So it is best to learn several characteristics of a plant when learning how to identify it. I am first gonna cover how to tell common milkweed and hemp dogbane apart when they are not flowering or producing seed pods, as this is when they are the most easily confused. The leaves of both common milkweed and hemp dogbane have a similar shape, but the lower leaf surface of milkweed will be covered in fine hairs, and the leaves of dogbane have scattered short hairs or are totally smooth. This is where a magnifying glass, hand lens, or a magnified picture on your phone can come in handy. If you love identifying native plants, get out your magnifying glass and go inspect that like button. The stems are also distinctive. Milkweed stems are stout relative to the size of the plant and are usually a shade of green. Dogbane stems are thinner relative to the size of the plant and are usually reddish to purple in color. There is also quite a difference in growth pattern. Common milkweed has a tall, unbranched stem under normal circumstances. More on this in a moment. Hemp dogbane will branch several times towards the top of the plant. Now for the exception. Milkweed may branch if it has been mowed. This is just the plant's way of dealing with the damage dealt by the bush hog. But it is also a great example of why I suggested it's a good idea to learn several characteristics of a plant when learning to identify it. Milkweed and dogbane are easy to tell apart when in flower. The flower clusters of common milkweed are rounded, occur along the stem, and have medium-sized, pink to purple, sometimes white flowers. Hemp dogbane has terminal flower clusters. They are at the ends of the stems, are flatter in shape, and have small white flowers. They are also quite simple to identify when seed heads are present. Common milkweed has large, teardrop-shaped, bumpy seed pods that grow along the stem and point upwards. Hemp dogbane has thin, green bean-shaped seed pods that hang down from the plant. Both plants have persistent seed pods that are easily seen in the winter. Is there a particular plant you get confused with another species when trying to identify it? Tell us about it down in the comments. These two species are far too aggressive for planting in a small garden. However, they do have their place in larger pollinator management areas. Common milkweed is used by hundreds of insect species and is well known for being the host plant of the monarch butterfly. Although it doesn't get near the attention, hemp dogbane also attracts a ton of pollinators and is a host plant for the beautiful dogbane beetle and the hummingbird clearwing moth, along with several other species. If you enjoy learning how to identify plants that look similar to each other, check out this video on a couple of look-alike trees and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.